Hey, good morning, everyone. I am back. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. This is part two of my Saturday morning beach walk down by the Naples Pier. Got off to a really foggy start this morning. It's finally starting to burn off. Temperatures so about 79 degrees already. Expecting today's high to get up to about 88. But we're going to take a little stroll over to the 3rd Street South Farmer's Market here in a couple minutes. Just in case you missed part one, I wanted to give you a quick look around from on top of the pier here. It's very quiet, very quiet at the beach this morning. That water temperature is 75 degrees. The tide just started coming back in. Good morning, Beverly. Yes, it is a beautiful morning. Such a blessing to live here in paradise, this little piece of paradise. It did not see any dolphins yet this morning, so I don't know where they're at. Did see some gorgeous colors, gorgeous colors earlier as the sun was peeking through the fog. The Naples Pier, 1,000 feet long, in case you're wondering. No fishing on Sundays here. The pier is closed to fishing on Sundays. But you do not need a license when the pier is open for fishing. You do not need a license to fish on the pier. Kind of a little bonus. Some of our friends over are over at Tony's off third. Connie, Robert, Kevin, I think Lee and Judy, maybe even Lee and Judy's pup. Their fur baby Zoe might be over there with them. We'll see if we can spot them when we walk past. How would you like to be here or with me right now? That would be fun, wouldn't it? That would be fun. Ooh, thank you for the stars. So 3rd Street South is just a couple blocks east of here. We're just going to take 12th Avenue South east for a couple blocks. These are the restrooms on the left and right side of the pier.
but here's what I was telling you earlier. You don't have to have a license to fish on the pier. Beautiful coconut palms here at the end of the pier, at the base of the pier. The majestic coconut palms. Isn't that blue sky awesome when we get to see it? <laughs> Still a little hazy, a little foggy. You can see it in the air there. The mist in the air. Some fountain grass with its little plumes. And I look back to the pier. There's a nice little walk from Third Street to the pier or vice versa. I highly recommend you go to Third Street South, do lunch, an early dinner, Walk over to the pier for sunset. Man, it's a great way to end your day. This time of year, things really quiet down. We're already seeing things slowing down. That is a beachfront home right there. That is right on the beach. The further south you go here, the bigger these houses get. Incredible, 30,000 square feet, 40,000 square feet. What do you do with all that space? See that one there is on the beach. Tell you what, it's a beautiful town if you can afford it. <laughs> it's getting further and further out of reach to, for normal people. We're going to be walking past the Palm Cottage here in a minute. I can definitely feel that humidity in the air. It's not smoke. <laughs> thank goodness. It is fire season here, but thank goodness it's not smoke. Got to breathe in to make sure. There's the parking lot for the pier. This is the intersection of where we at Gulf Shore Boulevard South and 12th Avenue South. A 
the little brick paver crosswalks. This is the fence around the Palm Cottage. This is their lawn area back here. I don't know if I can get the camera up. You, know, you can't really see back in there, can you? I don't know. This is where they have their events out on the back lawn. They have a cheeky, little cheeky hut over there. They have a lot of interesting things go on. The Historical Society of Naples. And around behind me show you where we've been just helping you get your bearings here as I walk along can't really see the pier now but it's just down that sidewalk down that little roads the drop-off man that sky is beautiful Beverly, hey, good morning. Rose, welcome back, sweetheart. Here's Palm Cottage over here on my left. This is the oldest house in Naples here. They do give tours of the cottage. Check online. history. So I guess you got to make reservations. Recommended Tuesday through Friday. There you go. NaplesHistoricalSociety.org for more information. Pier Street. I wonder if this used, maybe this used to be called Pier Street. Cool. Makes sense, huh? We'll walk under the banyan trees here. These got really hammered hard. Several years ago, I mean, ever many years ago, a hurricane, oh, which hurricane was it? Can't remember the name of the hurricane that came through here, but it beat these trees up really bad. They used to arch out over the roads. Some of them toppled over, but we were able to save a lot of them. This is one of the smaller, older homes. Can't imagine what that is worth. It's all about the property. What is this? This is a part of the historical society. They bought this house. I didn't know that. They're going to make this into an exhibit hall. The Smith Exhibit Hall. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Just learned something new right there. Very cool. All right, just ahead of me is the parking lot behind Tommy Bahamas on 3rd Street South. The sun peeking through the banyans. Still foggy to the east. Love the roots, the roots on these trees. Naples Zoo has some big banyan trees over by the bear exhibit.
We used to love climbing these as kids. We had these all over Miami. You can see the, another banyan up there. Blue sky over there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <coughs> Idiots speeding through here. Supposed to stop at this crosswalk. So we're gonna let's see which way we're gonna come in. We're gonna come in from the north end. We're gonna walk up to the north end. We're gonna go to Broad Avenue and walk down Third Street South. Could cut across this big empty field. This is where the Plaza Shopping Center used to be. Just never, never made it. This whole lot here was a big shopping center. Shopping upstairs, parking downstairs. It just never took off, I don't know. Now they're gonna build, I believe it's gonna be called the Naples Hotel. I think that's what they're gonna build on this property, I don't know. I'll just give you a little look at the street here. Give you a feel for the flavor of Old Naples. Listen to the birds. Man, the birds are singing away. They're happy this morning. Little blackbirds in the background. You can see by the color of the grass here that it's quite dry, quite dry in Southwest Florida right now. This is where the entrance was to the parking garage at the plaza right here. So that is Broad Avenue right there. Street South is just ahead of us. I can hear the music. They usually have several musicians playing at the farmer's market in the morning. Now this is going to be moving from the street from 3rd Avenue South. It's going to be moving to the parking lot behind Tommy Bahamas at the end of April. So May, the first weekend in May, it's going to be relocated and it's a lot smaller. So this is the last month that you can come down here to 3rd Street South and see the big market. We were out here for the snowfall during the holidays. These beautiful pink hibiscus flowers.
gorgeous. All we need is some little bumblebees pollinating. Street South. We're just going to walk south. See if we see our friends. This is pet friendly, also. This is a pet friendly farmer's market. Traffic will pick up here. We got everything out here. Baked goods, baskets, health food, seafood, organic pet food, and of course, of course, what's a farmer's market without fresh veggies? <laughs> Gotta have fresh vegetables. Several farm stands here. and an accordion you hear in the background. Fresh flowers. Ooh, look at all the little tomatoes. Mm. popcorn is that was Roy's highlight coming here and getting some of that popcorn and he loved that stuff beautiful Almond cookies. There's some of our furry friends here enjoying the market. Bagels. Got over here. This seems to be popular. Florida, fresh Florida seafood. Smoked salmon. Oh boy. Roy, smoked salmon, buddy. Uncle Earl's. Ooh, smoked salmon dip. Mmm. Sounds awesome. Smoked salmon dip. Yeah. Fire and rice. 
paella. Well, they don't have the big walks going. Tommy Bahamas over here. Clothing and restaurant. That is a popular spot. All the restaurants here are big hits, big hits. Five star dining, every single restaurant here. This is 12th Avenue South. This is the road that the pier is on. Sharon from Best Popcorn usually was down at the end here. I don't know if she's down here today. Making her popcorn, there she is. Doing her popcorn. That was Roy's favorite, best popcorn. Oh, that's all right. But you're not bombing anything. <laughs> you're making it better. <laughs> so you could spend a good hour down here walking around, checking everything out. Most of the Vendors are pretty friendly. They'll let you have a little sample to taste their products. Oranges. Fresh grown Florida oranges. Again, that's Tommy Bahamas right there. The clothing stores are on each end, the restaurant and bars in the middle. More, more flowers and plants. Bromeliads down there. Little fur baby, little fur baby. haven't seen the guy with the cockatoos, the cockatoo man that walks out here with this two, two or three cockatoos. Everybody's always getting pictures with them. Yeah, there's usually music going on here. Always oh, taking a break. In the courtyard here by Gattles. Good morning. So you might have three street musicians, one in the middle and one on each end. Mm. 
out. It's all different kinds of olives there. So. Ernesto and Luigi. Gourmet ravioli. Pasta and gourmet ravioli. Isn't that the truth? Roy and his oranges. Oh my gosh. Here's all the organic dog foods. Top dog kitchen. Baskets over here. She's actually making one right here, right before your eyes. <laughs> How are you doing? How long does it take you to make a basket that size right there? This size, oh, about 25 hours. 25 hours? Wow. People have no clue how long it takes. That's amazing. Wow. So that's what, I mean, these prices are a bargain. For all that, all that time you put into it, wow, wow. Forty years you've been doing it, awesome. Barbatella back there, Barbatella restaurant. I gotta take you back there. I always love showing people the bar back there, the wine bar. It has got the coolest, coolest ceiling. This is the south end of the market. I got to, there's a couple other places I want to share with you here before we end our feed. So hang out with me. Stick around. We already passed several awesome restaurants. I didn't go buy them. Campiello's. Mm. Sea Salt. There's some killer restaurants down here. Jane's Cafe right behind this building here. Oh, is there a musician down here? Yeah. Usually there's a musician set up here at this, this end. I don't know if I can get through here. People on their bikes. This is 13th Avenue South. Jane's Cafe has a really nice little out. Everything's outdoor here. This, that's what it's all about. Outdoor dining here. This is Jane's patio right here. This is a favorite of some of our friends here. Judy and Lee love this place. breakfast at Jane's. Beautiful fountain. A lot of beautiful fountains along here. Sculptures and fountains. Cross. Take you on the other side of 3rd Street South. Show you the inside of Barbatella there. That ceiling is just so cool. I got these big old bird cage 
lamps. And this is incredibly cool ceiling. I don't know what it's made out of. It's metal, it's stamped metal. Tony's off third over on the left over there. That's where several of our friends are right now. I like going, coming through this little archway. It's kind of hard to see the sun's not hitting it, but this ivy colored archway here. Look at that sky. Wowza. If you're liking what you're seeing, hit, hit me up with some stars there, peeps. Tips, tips are greatly appreciated. Always welcomed, always needed. Tips can be sent to my PayPal account. You can find a link to that in the description of this post. Look at this. This is the old Naples pub. This is the back of the building. This atrium here. The camera does not do it justice. Just need a super, super duper wide angle lens to capture this. Great place to come, have a burger and a beer. The old Naples pub. Oh, the door's not open here at Barbatella, darn it. I don't think it's open yet. We have to peek through the windows if we can see. This is the coolest. Can you see in there that those, look at that ceiling? Try and block the sunlight here. Isn't that cool? Come over here, maybe do a better job. Yeah. Those lamps are really neat. <laughs> There's me. <laughs> uh, outside dining. You can't get near these places during the winter months here. Not even close. I don't know the story of the horse fountains, but there's several of these horse fountains on 3rd Street South. I don't know the history behind them, if there's a history. I don't think we're needing these heaters anymore out here. <laughs> One last peek at the farmer's market. Two other places. Two other places to take you. Two of our little hangouts. Really not my hangouts. Too, I'm just too expensive for me down here. It's got to be like a special occasion. You know where I'm taking you? Any clue where we're going? Some of you should know where we're headed. Some of you should know where we're headed.
That's where we were earlier, Jane's Cafe, right behind that building, right in there. That's where we saw Jane's Cafe. <laughs> Bob Looney. Bad Bob figured it out. <laughs> Bad Bob knows where I'm taking you. That little, that little buggy there. Beach bugs, beach bugs. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> there it is. The world famous. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's pretty busy here this morning. Old badass is pretty busy. Old Maple Surf Shop. Badass coffee over here on the left. You gotta go to badass just so you can say you've been there. Just so you can say it. Hey, they're over there. Okay. At Tony's. <laughs> Robert's sister and brother-in-law just showed up. All right, now over to Tony's. Tony's off third. Oh, this is, see this tree here? I think this is a, I think that's a Christmas palm. It's pretty, pretty big and healthy looking, but they call them Christmas palms because these berries turn red. They look like Christmas, Christmas balls. <laughs> They're seed pods. They're quite messy. Some of the poor folks flying in on their private jet. We're right in the traffic pattern for the Naples Municipal Airport. There's Tony's off there. This is a very, very popular spot. It's a little bakery, a wine shop. There they are. <laughs> I don't, I don't see Papa on here. I didn't I didn't catch him on here. <laughs> ah. So I don't know where they're at. Connie and some of our other friends, Robert. Oh, there they are. I see Connie's. I see Connie back there. Well, walk over to the market, give you one last look up Third Street South at the farmer's market. I'll take you up and show you a couple more restaurants here. I don't know where I'm at on time. You would have seen her here, girl. Yeah. Oh, no, we would have seen Lots of clothing here. You know, designer clothing. 
food and clothing. That's what, I mean, this is world-class dining and shopping here. This is kind of like a little miniature Rodeo Drive. friendly here my friends pet friendly feel free to bring your pet on a leash same goes for your children <laughs> this is an interesting place to come here for breakfast you can have a very eclectic breakfast here. Somebody's happy. Somebody's happy. <laughs> Look at those tails. Look at those tails going. <laughs> so over here on my right, is the Continental Restaurant. See if I can sneak through over there and give you a peek at their patio dining. Find a little spot to cut through. Live music here. the tables aren't set up or anything but this is just give you an idea of the atmosphere look at these orchids look at these orchids my gosh holy smokes it's amazing look at them they're huge Gates closed. It's a kind of an inside outside bar over there. It's, you really can't see. I wonder if they put prices on their menu. Not steak. <laughs> Give 
give you an idea of the prices. It's all a la carte. Then Camp Yellow's down here, just a little further to the north. And it's turned out to be a glorious morning. Look at that. Welcome to Naples, my friends. There's a beautiful building here. The bricks and the big white columns. Cleopatra's Barge. It's been around for as long as I can remember. This building here in front of me, it's the old mercantile building. As I don't know when it was built, it says on the front of it way back when. This is Campiello's restaurant. Or outside patio dining, the inside outside bar there. Of course, they do have indoor dining. Well, that pretty much does it here. We saw the pier, we saw the Third Street South Farmer's Market, we saw some of the restaurants here on Third Street South. Naples is a beautiful place to visit, an awesome place to live. For the most part, it's full of happy people. <laughs> happy people, happy fur babies, great schools, great shopping, great dining, awesome beaches, tons of golf courses. is paella that they make they're not they don't have any going here they got these great big steel walks that they cook it in fire and rice all right my friends i'm gonna call it a morning thanks for hanging out with me
I think we've had a great morning, don't you? Beautiful. Started off, it was really neat down by the pier in the fog this morning. That sun peeking through the fog, that was awesome. Check out my first live feed from this morning. Listen to all the birds. Just feels healthy standing out here. Thank you, Steve, Janie. Thanks to all of you. Thanks for being generous this morning. I appreciate those stars. Again, tips are highly appreciated, especially now. This is my crunch time, right when all the bills are due. So thank you. If you like what you're seeing, if you want me to keep doing this and you'd like to send a tip, that's what keeps me going. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And I do... Thank you. Got some awesome, awesome friends. Look at that beautiful tababuya tree. That's called a tababuya. Messy but beautiful, those yellow flowers. Everywhere you look, it's just beauty, beauty, beauty. All right. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite them to tag along with us in the mornings for a beach walk. Maybe something else every once in a while. You never know. Help me spread the word and share the love. Spread my mission of bringing awesome people just like you together. One beach walk at a time. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. Oh, the bird man's here. The cockatoo man just showed up. <laughs> the cockatoo man. He's a fixture here, to say the least. Him and his cockatoos. Everybody usually has to get a picture of him. Once he starts walking, especially the kids. I assume people give him a tip. Ah, cool. He's getting some snacks. And off he goes. The cockatoo man. I'm glad we got to see him. If you stuck around, a lot of people were bailing out on us. But those who stuck around got to see him. Awesome. All right. I got to run, my friends. Hey, tally-ho, my friends. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.